but you can see lots of bugs here and uh, you're gonna encounter that a lot. I think I've encountered more bugs just trying this out than I have in any iOS beta in a really long time that I can remember. All right, so you're staring at liquid glass. I am telling you, this is liquid glass. I do kind of wish it had some kind of effects as you turn the phone, but this is Apple's new kind of name for this design language that you're seeing right here in iOS 26. It's definitely really cool looking. Now, it doesn't always have to look like this. I think this is one of the more striking designs of it or the looks of it. If we go into edit and customize, you'll see here we have a couple of options, some of which are new. So we have the default, which still has a whole different look to it. It still is a little bit translucent and you'll notice that some of the icons and stuff are different. We have dark, which, you know, it takes a second to load. This is a beta. I definitely wouldn't recommend getting it. The battery life is, uh, I've noticed over the course of the day, not really good. And you definitely don't want to install this on your main device. Then we have clear, of course, that's the one I showed you at the beginning and tinted like we've had since last year. So you can see there how the tinted looks with the different colors. I think it looks much better than tinted in its current iteration. It just looks much cooler, a little bit sleeker. Now, one of the things I wanna show you here as well that's kind of new and you're gonna notice, I kinda of wanna go over kind of the main things you are going to notice when you upgrade. And here, what I really like is this new kind of depth feature for photos and it kind of gives them a kind of 3D look as you look around. I don't know if you can tell really, it's very subtle, definitely really noticeable in person. Now you can see the time is up there kind of taken over the photo. One of the problems with this liquid glass so far, it is quite hard to read. It's not very good at making itself very readable in a lot of cases. I'm sure there's some accessibility features to kind of fix that, but in its normal kind of standard mode, it's not very readable. So if we tap here, we can just switch the photo. You can see that the text auto aligns itself. And in this photo, it's a little bit easier to see. And the text just keeps changing depending on the photo to give it a different vibe. I think that's super cool. Look at that. And look at that. I think it's just a really cool feature. Reminds me of like the old 3DS days. That was always fun. I don't think it's tracking any eyes or anything. That'd be cool if it was but I really like that it just does this on the go, on command. And you know, if you have family members, pets like this, it's just a really fun little touch. And here's the kind of cool effects that Apple's kind of baking into this. If you see right here, you can kind of see those edges that actually does look like glass. It's super, super cool as we scroll up and down. It is just these little touches that make Apple Apple and I really like it, however, not everything is finished. A lot of things just don't look that great with the liquid glass. Like you can see here, control center. I mean, this doesn't, to me at least, look much like glass. It just looks like some opaque buttons that are kind of see-through. So I think we have a lot of ways to go here come September. They gotta fix a lot of things. They gotta fix a lot of bugs and a lot of things that just don't look right. If we go here to clock, you can see that they made the buttons longer as opposed to circular. And that's a very interesting choice. I'm not sure why they did that. Um, I'm guessing it might work better with people in general. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. But you can see that there's like a lot of bugs as they tap this, other things move. And yeah, there's just uh, a lot of things throughout this. I definitely want to install it. There's already a few of my favorite apps that aren't really working that well. That's to be expected. Overall, I do like this theming kind of much cleaner, much nicer, more modern. Look at that photos icon there. It just looks really nice. The camera has also been changed up. Whether you like this or not, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. It's simplified a little bit more, so just easy to switch between photo and video, but they did hide all the other features to the right and left. And I don't know if people are gonna find those very easily. It's a little interesting that they did that. It's just not easy to see all the features that you have. So while it's nice and clean, they're kind of choosing to be really, really clean and minimal versus being functional. And that's really um, something that you either like or really hate. I think I'm just really stuck in the middle right now because if we go to Safari, for example, they got rid of the share icon at the bottom. And I actually really like that. I kind of, most of the time when I'm on a website, I do share what I'm looking at. And now you have to tap here and then click share, which is eh, not my favorite thing. So we go back here. Now, one thing I did notice that I really did like is the fact that you can just put your finger here and then move around the selection 
and then let go. So it's not like it requires multiple taps, just tap and hold, move up to share. And that was a nice little thing I noticed that I'm like, okay, not that big of an issue. I do like how minimal it looks, but worth noting, Apple is kind of taking this approach of minimalism, cleanliness, and hiding features away and things tucked away so that they're not as cumbersome as they have been. Now I do like this whole edge to edge look, things like animate very nicely and go back in. It's really, really nice. Now one of the bigger things here is of course the messages app. You're getting some updates to make it more competitive like WhatsApp and stuff. So if we go here to a thread here, you can see here with my brother, I've gone ahead and changed the wallpaper. You can change it to whatever you want and everything is gonna be a little glassy. I think the keyboard still looks a little odd, but it works well right now. Let's see, let's write a message. There's no new text effects or anything like that. I was looking through, everything's kind of the same right now, but we can go ahead and send that. Of course, still the same options here. Nothing really has changed, but if we go here to the profile and we go to backgrounds right here, we can now just change again, the background to whatever you want, pictures that you've taken, you can go into playground here and create an image for the uh, chat right here. So we click mountains there. It'll just come up with some mountains. Let's see how long this takes. And you can of course mix different things, just describe an image and get something specific for a chat. So if you have a specific chat for a trip or something, you can, you know, you're going to Mount Fuji, you can do a Mount Fuji wallpaper and add that to the group chat. So let's go ahead and tap okay here. Oh. Is it done? I think it's done. Let's see what happens. Let's see, that's kind of cool. So we can go ahead and tap add. It's gonna add it and let's see if we see it. There we go. So it is kind of fun. It's kind of going into the direction of what's happened and stuff. They have fallen behind in that sense, but it is nice to get that. You can also, which is nice, you can now tap on a message and select that message and scroll here and select part of the text before you have to copy the whole text and then delete what you don't want from it or whatever. Yeah, very nice little kind of quality of life features throughout iMessage as it's kind of being used less and less by people here in the US, but still nice to see. And basically every app around got a little bit of a tweak, but a lot of them just not that much. I think they still have quite a ways to go to make everything feel kind of unified and as glassy and as nice and as modern. Let's go here to books, for example. You can see we do have, of course, the new kind of menu that is really nice. It is cool that you can kind of scroll through like this, little things like that that just look very nice. But you can kind of see little UI tweaks. Things look really nice in some cases, really not that nice in other cases. I do like these effects that they have going on though. But overall, things are really nice. I see the vision that Apple is going for. It really is just kind of these simple things that are making it feel kind of new and fresh. I mean, one of my favorite features here really is though just getting that depth effect for the lock screen. It's really, really cool. And then here, we go right here, we tap right there. There it is, kind of transcribing an image into the spatial depth effect. And there you go. Look at that, it works with any image. This one's really old and it still works perfectly. We can zoom into it and look at that. And if you have a Vision Pro, you can do that with photos now too. Let's see if it works with this duck right here, just real quick. I'm just really liking this feature. I'm probably gonna play with it more, with more photos later today. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That would be really cool for a wallpaper with the time up here. That is super cool. So why don't we go ahead and set this as a wallpaper just so you can kind of see that kind of new flow for setting that up. And that's a bug again, there we go. So let's click here, use as a wallpaper. And now we have this kind of cool thing here, the bar to make the text bigger or smaller. I'm gonna make it there. Zoom this back here, put it here. There we go. And then we're gonna click right here in this little button, generating the spatial scene. And there we go, it's set up. And let's just make this then full screen right there. That looks kind of cool. Now the widgets are down here. Probably not the biggest fan of that for myself. I think I like them at the top more. But of course, nothing here is final. Apple's gonna keep changing things from here to release in the fall. And now let's go ahead, set as a wallpaper pair. Let's go back to home screen. Let's lock it, unlock it, and there you go. Look at that. That looks so cool, so clean, and I'm really looking forward to it. Of course, it's gonna be full of bugs. Some things are not going to look right. I think that this still needs a lot of work. I hope that this isn't the final version of this right here, 
But I think approach this with an open mind. I think Apple is going for a very cool design language with this. And it's nice to see such a separation from Google's Material Design 3. If you look that up, it's nice to have completely different styles in the industry moving things forward. And there's, of course, a ton of little features throughout that I'm not going to go over. Maybe we'll do a kind of in-depth features look later on, especially as the betas kind of go on and we uncover more things as we kind of look through the phones here. But overall, I'm digging it. I'm liking it. Definitely better than what we had before. It's not as polished because, of course, it's a new version of something that we'll be using for the next 5, 10 years. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.